Where's Lathrix? There I am. Where's Lathrix? There I am. Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved with me, Lathrix. And of course, welcome back to my newest hunting pet, Mo, the level 170 bat. So it turns out these things, of course, are still tameable, and for a limited time, if you're very quick to act, they are still available on the overworld. Not that they spawn there anymore, but it turns out after the Halloween event, they don't suddenly despawn, so until they're killed, you can actually find them in a load of places. I actually went on a bit of a mental spree at the very end of the Halloween event to try and find one of these things, thinking incorrectly that it would be untamable afterwards, because, uh, well, I may have been uh, following some very poor advice. Look, I have a shield, and that's the next thing we're getting on to. <laughs> yes, indeed, we now have shields and swords, although you can make a much better shield than this. You can make a riot shield using polymer and crystal. This is the metal shield. Not that expensive at 80 metal, but it does break pretty darn quickly. Whilst you're defending with it, it will actually take all of the damage from your front until it breaks. Now, I haven't tested that on particularly strong animals, like the Rex or the Moss, but I have tested it on things like the, oh, what do you call them, the Trikes and the Stegos and such, and it does take a lot of damage. It simply doesn't hurt you as long as you're defending, which is pretty darn cool, particularly since I'm currently in pretty darn light armor to actually test that. So. Let's continue with our big reveal though. Today, as the title may suggest, we are currently building the saddle for and we are going to try to tame the mighty, the one and only, the Giganotosaurus. Now that is a very hard thing for me to pronounce as always, but apparently that's how it's pronounced according to several documents, a film and the Oxford Dictionary. Giganotosaurus. And it is fantastic. This thing is phenomenal. It's stronger than Angron by a long shot at level 1. By default, its base damage is 1,200, and its health is far over 100,000. It is absolutely ridiculous. It's not accurate, of course, to the real-life version, which apparently is smaller than a Spino, but in-game it is much bigger than a Rex, and much, much bigger than a Spino, which of course is actually a lot smaller in-game than it should be in real life. Go figure. And we're going to try to tame one today. And you may be thinking, well, what's the drawback? I mean, this is, this, this is ridiculous. This is more powerful than Alpha Rex. Well, it turns out that, first of all, it actually gets stronger as it takes damage, which is amazing, and its stamina increases, which is also amazing, but it has a rage effect. If it takes too much damage, it will get so angry, it will literally kick you off of its saddle and kill you. That will happen, and will happen a lot if you're not careful during battles. Now, I'm not sure if you get some kind of indication about how angry it's getting, I'm hoping you do, but we have to be very careful once we tame one of these things, and that's what I'm preparing to do right now. I've been busy off camera, since I don't want to show you me making Trank Arrows again, making just that. Lots of Trank Arrows and lots of narcotics. Apparently, it's very, very difficult to knock out, but once it's knocked out, it's actually not too bad to tame. Because although it has a massive torpor level, it doesn't have a massive hunger bar, and of course, animals get tamed as soon as you fed them, enough for their hunger bar to completely fill. So that's not too bad, so after we've knocked it out it's pretty easy, and of course we're going to have to be using pretzel, flying high above, and shooting down hell. The saddle also isn't actually that bad to make, although it's got a lot of hide and fibre, it only needs 120 metal, so once that's done, we're almost ready to go. All we need to do now is fix my crossbows, because we are going to need all three of them, definitely. In fact, we're probably going to make a fourth just in case, but I just want to make one now to check how many Trank Arrows I actually have ready. 302. 
probably want more, honestly. So yeah, we're definitely going to have a fourth crossbow, possibly even a fifth. I was tempted to make some more trank darts, but they require more uh, narcotic per shot, and it's not efficient. Although they do a lot more trank effect per hit, it just takes a lot more narcotic per thing, so it would just take forever. So I'll be back in a second when we're all ready to go. Okay, well, that should be pretty much it, or at least that's what I'm hoping. We now have all of the materials needed to craft the saddle, unless I'm very much mistaken. just need the fiber, which I'd have in my inventory here, here, and here. There we go. We have the saddle, and we have a load more narcotics, at least, being made in one of these. There we are, 73 and new. Apparently got a load of spare everything else. There's my current costume storage. I'll totally remember where that is all the time. And that should be that. Okay, so we're bringing a lot of stuff. As you can probably see, we have seven crossbows, 652 trank arrows, and the saddle, along with, I think that should be about 300, coming up 400 narcotics. Now, that should be enough, although it will give me enough time to actually make narcotics on the spot if I need to, since that will last so darn long. So let's store half of this stuff in pretzel and let's get going. Finally, that did take a little while, but thankfully I did have most of the narcotics and such already ready, so it wasn't too bad. So, a map, and let's see, we are going here. Essentially, it can be found in the northern regions of the map, not so much in the south. In fact, according to the wiki, it's not found in the south at all, I guess because of all the swampland, but it can be very rarely found on Carnivore Island, and a lot of the time it's found in this area. Essentially, it's pretty much, as long as it's in the north, if a rex can spawn there, so can this thing, and I'm hoping we'll find it quickly. Now, I have actually seen one of these already, so for once it won't be so much of a shock when we actually find it, because normally I try to go into these things blind, I don't like to look at the creatures until I've actually seen it. Just like with the Mosasaurus, it was the very first time seeing one when I eventually found Moss, but with um, this thing, I did sadly have a run in it a run into it with Pretzel, and I didn't know about the stats. I attacked it, and Pretzel lost half of her health in two hits, and it attacked very, very quickly. So from that, I learned to keep a safe distance. Now, I don't know if that one will still be alive. It's been several in-game days. It's been at least about four or five hours in real life actually playing the game and sorting stuff out for everyone over on the island. So that, though, was over here on the beach. So we'll go and look there first. If we can't find it, we'll go inland and search around. And last... Actually, no. We'll go along the beach, we'll search Carnivore Island, then we'll go here. The big problem with Carnivore Island is I don't really want to tame it there because, well, there's lots of other carnivores ready to kill us. Well, after a quick scout of Carnivore Island and a quick scout of the beach here, it seems like we've had no luck. But this was the area where I first encountered the beastie, so I know for a fact this mountain here is a spawn zone. So I'm hoping I will find one somewhere close by. I have high hopes, because there's a good chance the one I found is still somewhere alive. Although it's been several hours, these things have over 100,000 health and get stronger as they take damage. I very much doubt anything's killed it unless it's managed to drown itself, which honestly with the Ark Dinosaur AI is completely possible. But even so, let's have some faith in the thing's AI and let's hope we can actually find it, either the original or a new one. Sometimes, Ark, I must say, your derpy AI is beautiful. I think I am certain that that is our pri- Oh no, I thought it was stuck in the tree! Level 40. Now that is a little bit high level, but I think I'm going to risk it. Oh, just look at that thing! That's ridiculously huge! Like, I know I've seen it before, but I was kind of running away from it, honestly. But that is just awesome. Okay, so I want to be low enough to get its attention so it tries to stay underneath Pretzel, but I want to be high enough... Ha! I hit you! But I want to be high enough, of course, where it can't hit me back. 
Oddly enough, that didn't cause the um, combat music. I always don't like it when it doesn't cause combat music, so, because then I'm never completely certain if I've actually hit the thing. There we go, two hits. Take the tranquilizing effect, you fool! Okay, now there's combat music. I feel better and more validated now. Oh, are you going to be moving the entire time? Am I going to have to move somewhere like next to a cliff so you end up getting stuck like the Dodo Rex? If I can keep the Dodo Rex stuck, I'm fairly certain I can get you stuck. So where on earth have you got? Why is it so misty? This isn't helpful. <laughs> this is like the opposite of helpful. It's unhelpful, which actually is the opposite of helpful, but sounds really boring, and I thought there'd be a better word there. I can English. I can English real good. But seriously, where are you? I think I see you behind the tree. I, I, I see your head. You, it's the play hide and seek. I may just wait here until the mist lifts, honestly, because this is ridiculous. Okay, well, it's still misty, but at least this time he's being, well, she's being a lot more cooperative. It's kind of a shame, because if it was a male, I was going to call it Corn. Because, well, if anything deserves the name of the god of blood and death, I think one of these things does. I mean, come on, it's a dinosaur that gets angrier and more powerful the more you hurt it. The god of blood would be very proud. Now, I should be a bit more efficient with these arrows. You know, let it take its effect for a couple of seconds, then take a shot, then wait a few seconds, then take a shot. So I think I will. Ooh, there's a Bronto nearby, that's fantastic. Kind of mean, but you're going to end up being prime meat. <laughs> Very sorry to say. This may take a while. I feel like I'm shooting the Dodo Rex all over again. I kind of want to see if it has any lot of visual effect as it gets more angry, but saying that, I'm not really doing much damage to it, so this probably won't cause the effect. If it does have an effect, that is. I'm sure, I mean, it'd be really cool if it did. I mean, if the Alpha Rexes have a red mist about them just because they're Alpha Rexes, I'm sure they can make these ridiculous things have some kind of indication of being really, really angry. Oh no, don't be distracted by the Bronto. Oh wow, look how fast it just tore apart that. Come on, come back, you were being such a good girl, you were sitting there, you were taking the shots, and nothing terrible was happening. But no, you had to start being silly again, now I can't get your attention back. There we go, eat it. There we are, that's better, okay. It's angry at us again, and glaring at us with a little bit of, well, it doesn't like us very much. One crossbow down, which means, of course, a hundred arrows have now hit this thing, and instantly it loses its attention on us. It seems like if you leave this thing alone for even a few seconds, it instantly goes and tries to find a new target. It really is rather bloodthirsty. I do love that in its little, um, its little, what's it called, information-y thing in, in the survivor profile, it literally says its temperament is angry. And that makes two crossbows, moving on to the third. I was really hoping that perhaps it would be a little bit easier than the wiki said, but it seems like it's going to live up to its challenge. A level 44 should take between 300 and 400 arrows. Since this is only level 40, I'm imagining it will be closer to the 300 mark. So this might be the last crossbow worth of shots, which is good, because if it turns out it's harder to actually tame when it's down than it says, we do have the arrows as, as a last resort actually, you know, shooting the arrows into it to keep it under sedation. The last thing I want is this thing waking up once I've put it to sleep. And there goes the third crossbow. I'm very happy that I brought all of these extras, honestly, at this point. So we continue. I think the big problem is it counts 300 to 400. Most likely, the 300 is if you're doing this optimally. So you're shooting, then waiting the optimal amount of time before firing the next shot. 
I am essentially spam shooting at this point to try and do it as fast as possible because of course the initial amount is very high and then the trial off, although it is still incredibly quick, is not as fast as the, again, initial payoff. So if we keep on hitting this over and over again it should be quicker if far less efficient for our arrows. But regardless, this should be the final crossbow. And it is also the middle of the night, so... It's been a whole day of shooting, essentially. Good night, sleeping beauty. Okay, finally, let's descend and start feeding this thing. Oh, look at the size of it. <laughs> this is comparing it to Pretzel, who's huge. Okay, let's take all of the hide, apparently. Let's take all of the raw meat I can find, and the narcotics are in my inventory. Okay, let's quickly give this to the Sleeping Beauty, and then we'll go off and try and find some prime meat. Wow, look at that torpor go down. Okay, where's the narcotics? Of course, though, as soon as we use this, it counters it completely. So honestly, it doesn't really matter, as long as we can keep the narcotic effect constantly on, which I'm sure we can, this shouldn't be too bad. There we are, I'll take all those. There we are. Remote use, remote use, remote use. To be fair though, that went down really quick, so all I'm going to do is spam use them, as it does stack the duration. I know it's really inefficient and stupid to do, but I want to ensure this thing isn't going to run out. So now I'm going to go ahead, kill the Bronto, get some prime meat, and then I'm probably just going to sit with it and um, ensure that it's safe. The last thing I want now is for it to be killed or attacked, because, well, I don't really have the resources to do this again without having to craft a whole lot of stuff. Which wouldn't be that fun, honestly. Go on, Bronto. Fall to the mighty pretzel. Your, your meat is going to a very, very scary cause. Scary yet fun. I didn't actually take a good look at how much food it did need, so I'm hoping it's low. There we go, loads of prime meat. Fantastic. Yay for the extra harvest amount we get. Still need to, well actually no, I did turn it down again. It's now on time 7, but I'm still feeling like it's a bit too much. It went from 11 down to 9, to now to 7, and now I'm thinking 5, and that's what it used to be a long time ago. Okay, I have to be very quick with this, because well, as soon as we have it in our inventory, it's going to rot really, really quickly, so just hold down T as much as possible. There we go, yeah, yeah, yeah. all in my inventory, yay, everything's good. Excuse me. Hello. I said hello. You okay? Yes, and you're still under the effects of the narcotics. That's fantastic. Oh yeah, only four thousand food. That's absolutely nothing. Although it does seem quite slow to eat. Although, again, the wiki does say it doesn't take all that long, and I do have times three timing, so it shouldn't be too. Did I just put the trank arrows in? I mean, that's what happens, I guess, when you're spamming um, tea just keep, you know, again, I, I just want to make sure the, the duration is stacked as much as possible. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. That's after one meat, and now it's going to start eating prime meat. This should actually be absolutely fine, because of the amount of tranks we have. I think that was that just eating the narcotic, though. I'm not sure. No, because if it was eating on the prime meat, that'd be much more than that. Okay, let's wait around, and hopefully we can just skip until it's tamed, as I don't really need to do much else. Look how big this thing is! <laughs> oh my lord, that's terrifying! I've just noticed its health. 295,000 health it currently has, out of 301,000. This is like three Alpha Rexes in one horrible, scary package. After only two prime meat, that's doing really well. Even without the three times boost, I really think this is not a particularly hard thing to tame. Admittedly, it looks really difficult because of how fast the torpor actually goes down, but you always have to bear in mind that the narcotic effect always completely negates the natural deterioration, deterioration, deter going down of the torpor, and we haven't actually gave it any more um, narcotics since the last time, because once again they do stack perfectly, so if you force feed it five at once, it will continue to increase for five times the duration of one narcotic, which is very, very long. So as you can tell, that huge amount we just gave it is still being absolutely fine. Honestly, 
We could have brought more narcotics, but I think, again, even without the times three, all the stuff we have in our inventory is more than enough to keep this thing under sedation the entire time. So I'm going to go ahead, give it some more narcotics. Now, I did say it's a perfect um, amount, as in a perfect duration increase. I'm not a hundred percent sure if that's true, but at least it's probably still the best thing to do for this type of animal, since the torpor seems to go down in the thousands if you don't keep it completely sedated. The fact it's not blinking is very creepy, but... Oh! Lord, it actually did blink. That may have startled me a little bit. Got to be honest. Our little princess is awake. Now, I did need to do a little bit of extra hunting for this thing, purely because this thing eats so slowly, the prime meat was rotting in its inventory over and over again. So, Pretzel here... Well, she has became the murderer of Brontos, to be perfectly honest. Thankfully, there are huge Bronto spawns just over that hill, which were very useful. I only had to use 30 more of the narcotics in her inventory to actually keep her asleep the entire duration, and it took only one and a half full day and night cycles, which means, on normal timing settings, it still only takes three days, which isn't hard to make that many narcotics, so for such a ridiculously fantastic beast, that's surprisingly easy, to be perfectly honest. So, let's have a quick look at its stats. Now, I've already taken the narcotics back, we've just left it with loads of food. The health seems to be a lot lower once it's tamed. Now, that's either because the rage effect is gone, I'm not sure how it affects health, or purely because the tamed version simply starts off with less health. I mean, that would make some sense. It would be a little bit ridiculous if it was that powerful. I did also notice the, the melee damage is less than 100%. So, clearly, they're trying to make the wild version stronger than the tamed, which is really really weird, and I don't quite understand why they do that. Why not just make the base a little bit weaker? I don't know, but I kind of understand, but regardless. That still means that's over a thousand damage, by the way, already. So, let's get on it, and... Wow. Of course it can roar. I mean, it'd be silly if it couldn't. Pretzel, you're on follow duty. We're going... Oh, that's so fast! We're going hunting. Stamina needs to be improved a little bit, it must be noted, but of course, as the rage effect builds, it will actually gain stamina regen, which is kind of fantastic. Ooh! Next to the health bar, there's a very light red symbol. Can you see that? I'm guessing as it fills up, it gets angrier and angrier. Why is my camera messing up? Oh, because a pretzel's got us stuck. Hmm. Perhaps what I should do is... Have pretzel quickly go away for a second. Oh, apparently we're in battle. Against a... Really? A Dilo tried to fight us? We'll get Pretzel to move away for a second, and then we'll do a little bit of fighting around here, then come back for her. What, and what we'll do is we'll actually ride on Pretzel and use um, the follow command for our lovely new pet. Stop doing that! Oh, I forgot. It's following the... Ah, it's following the new creature. Which means I've got to be on the new creature to actually tell it to stop following. That's stupid. There we go. No longer following. Fantastic. Hello. Turtle's armor isn't very good. Haha. <laughs> well, it still goes up pretty darn quick. Really weird that it doesn't start off a little bit higher than that, though, honestly. Okay. Where's Pretzel? Okay, Pretzel, you can follow us. You can follow us. Let's just go back to Herbivore Island or somewhere. Somewhere safe to deposit Pretzel, I think. I'm actually pretty close to Memorial Plateau. So what we'll do is we'll quickly head off to there and deposit Pretzel there and then do some proper hunting because this is going to get really annoying. And here we are, somewhere safe. Okay, let's let Pretzel down here. Stop little Valkyr following us, and there we are. So for those wondering about the name, in case I haven't mentioned it already, the name is actually one of the demonesses of corn. It's essentially one of the few female demons mentioned in the Warhammer 40k universe. Well, the Warhammer fantasy universe, anyway. Oh, wow. I did not realise it was that much bigger than a Rex. I'm sorry, Redemption, but you look a little bit small right now. Well, with Pretzel nice and safely chilling here, with all of its guards being raptors and 
giant apes and, well, Rexes. It's time for us to do a little bit of hunting of our own, and hopefully a little bit of leveling up. Remember that the base damage, 100%, is 1,000 to... Oh no! All of my dodos was just killed! By that Kano over there, I imagine. That's just not nice, I guess, since, well, the dodo will be one shot. How dare you try to eat the corpse? Go away. Well, there we go. One shot you, sir. Serves you right. And let's increase the damage. So, like I was saying, level one... Well, 100% 1 is 1,200. So, as you can imagine, if we get this thing to 200%, we're doing far over 2,000 damage, and so on and so forth. So, I want to do is try and find anything worth our time. Let's see if we can find a Rex, a couple of Brontos, and all that good stuff. I will say, though, I am tempted to level up the stamina, because it is pretty darn bad. Though, saying that, we are pretty fast just walking, even if we're not sprinting. Just one-shotting everything. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't believe they've added such a... I don't want to say overpowered, because I get the whole point is to use that weird rage system, which again, I'm assuming is that little red smudge next to the health bar, which is really difficult to see. But even so, this is a little bit ridiculous. I may also increase its health a little bit. I wonder if the rage meter is directly related to percentage health damage taken, or just any damage taken, because we could maybe prevent it from raging too much by increasing the max health, but at the same time, it's kind of a fun risk. If we do cause it to go into a rage, it will increase its damage exponentially, so I do kind of want that as well. Hello, Rex! <laughs> it stood no chance at all! This, like... It is, it is stronger than Angron. It is just technically already stronger than Angron, and it's going to continue to get stronger and stronger and stronger, and, well, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous to the strongest degree. If only we could spawn in the Broodmother again. In fact, I'm tempted. I am tempted to go to all the caves and get the artifacts just to kill the Broodmother again using this thing. If a lower-level Angron can kill the Broodmother, this thing's just going to eat it. So, there's a Bronto over there, and then there's a little, ooh, a little Kano there. After that one Kano killed my Dodo, I think it's only fitting I start mass murdering them on sight. Slowly walking up. I mean, honestly, probably not the most sneaky of animals, but still gets stuck on sodding trees. Hello! Yum. Just, it, there's nothing to watch. It just outright kills the things. Okay, hit me. I want to. Okay, did a bit too much damage, caused it to run. The next Bronto, I'm going to let hit the, the thing a few times just to see if the rage bar starts to fill. My damage, and I'll be looking up on forums and such how the rage mechanic works in its fullest extent for the next episode because I do really want to know if it's percentage based or just outright damage. Because if it's outright damage, I don't think I'll be increasing the health of this thing much, if at all. However, if it is percentage, I will be increasing the health. Are you going to fight back? I mean, I wouldn't personally, but you could. There we go, had a girl. Well, you're not doing much damage, and the rage bar isn't changing at all. I think I'd need something a little bit stronger than this, honestly. I'm sorry, but you are a meal. And further increasing its damage. Yep. Uh, see, at this point, though, it's almost worthless to increase the damage because we're killing everything so quickly. What I'll probably be doing now is increasing stamina, so let's go ahead, go back to the water and see if we can find a few Spinos. Our next prey awaits, and honestly, the last challenge of the day. I really can't see the Spino surviving, considering its health is generally less than a Wild Bronto, but we have to do it anyway for science. I will be looking for the Alpha creatures, particularly the Alpha Rex in the future, because, well, this thing is just clearly the strongest regular animal on Ark. It's just... 
easily the strongest. And, well, something which new players and old players alike will fear to find in the wild. Because remember, these things are stronger in the wild than they are domesticated. Well, at least to start off with. Of course, now, our lovely Valkyr has a massive melee damage buff, so ultimately it will be able to kill a wild one very soon, but right now we still need a few more levels, which will be given to us <laughs> from the local strong animals. I'm so sorry, Spino, but you are no more. I will say one thing though, I did level this thing's speed, weight, and stamina all once, and it was completely worthless. You get almost no stats in any of them. For movement speed, you get 0.3%. For stamina, you get 4 points. And for health, I think it only gave me a few thousand. And considering how large the health pool is already, although a few thousand is pretty darn cool, it's not really that much. I still think I will be upgrading the health, but there we are. Oh, and white. It gave us, I think, something like 20 extra weight, which isn't that bad, but honestly, are we going to be using this thing as a pack mule? Something tells me we're not. You know, I just... I don't want to disrespect it for some reason. Ooh, we're level 76. Three shots that took, so you know, not one shot. But it did give us two levels. So, with all that said and done, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode and are enjoying ARK as a series, then of course, wow, how much lag, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that ARK is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.